Well, in other news, someone shot up a home in a quiet Canby neighborhood last night. Now police are searching for people that are responsible for that. It happened at a home at the corner of Northeast 9th Place and Pine Street. Brent Weisberg talked with the police chief to get some answers in this crime alert. The chief of police tell me that his detectives are going to work with officers from the Metro Gang Enforcement Team to try to figure out what actually happened here. We do know that there were three people inside this home early this morning when several shots hit it. It's just a nice place to live, nice and quiet. That's why we moved here. Normally, the only thing Denny Baldry hears on a Tuesday morning is the school bus and sometimes the garbage truck going by. I came outside because, like I said, I thought it was something like we had these power boxes around my property, so I thought that they were kind of popping off or something. A police officer told him to turn around that there had been a shooting at his neighbor's home. I actually thought it was somebody beating on some steel or something. It appears to be some kind of a, a semi automatic uh, rounds that were used. This is a quiet area with families that have young kids. Canby's police chief says this morning's drive-by shooting put lives in jeopardy. We do have uh, uh, evidence here that suggests at least 10 rounds were fired, um, and several of those rounds had hit the house. For neighbors like Denny Baldry, scenes like this are alarming. He's never expected this type of violence a short distance from his home. It doesn't really ever happen in this neighborhood, to be honest with you. I mean, it's pretty quiet, just families and stuff. Reporting in Canby, I'm Brent Weisberg, Coin 6 News. And the police chief tells us some of the people who live inside the home may have ties with local gangs. Again, officers have not arrested anyone yet.